As the proud owner of a new Schlage Connect Smart Deadbolt, you'll be pleased to learn that the lock is easy to install and set up. In this video, we'll show you how to get your lock installed and ready to use in no time. Before we get too far, make sure you have a tape measure, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a flathead screwdriver. If you'll be using the round drive-in faceplate, you'll also need a hammer and a block of wood. We'll explain more about that later. You can use a power screwdriver, but please don't use an electric or cordless drill. It could easily over-tighten the screws, which could strip the threads or even damage your lock. Now, we're going to create a checklist of the questions we need answered. If you can't check everything off this list, you may need to adjust your door or frame. Let's start by taking a look at your current door and frame to make sure that they're aligned properly and that the holes are properly drilled for your new lock. Because your Slade Connect has an automatic motorized deadbolt, it's important that the door and jam are properly aligned. So let's test your current lock. You should be able to lock the door without pushing, pulling, or lifting the door, and your door alignment should stay about the same in changing weather conditions. Now, remove any existing lock and check your door and frame dimensions. Check to make sure you have a minimum of five inches between the center of the deadbolt hole and the center of any other door latch below the deadbolt. Check to make sure the cross bore diameter measures two and one eighth inches or one and a half inches. The back set should measure either two and three eighths inches or two and three quarter inches from the door edge to the center of the cross bore. The latch bore should measure one inch in diameter and the thickness of the door should be between one and three eighths inches and one and three quarter inches. Make sure the hole drilled in the jam is at least one inch deep for the deadbolt to fully throw. If your door is thicker than one and three quarter inches, you can purchase a custom door kit. If you can't check off everything on this list, need a custom door kit, or have additional questions, visit us online at schlage.com or call Schlage Customer Service at 888-805-9837. Now take a moment to locate the parts of your Schlage Connect Smart Deadbolt. All the parts that came with your lock are shown here. Now, find your quick start guide. On the back of this guide, you'll find your unique six-digit programming code and two four-digit access codes. Use these important codes to manage guest access and program features after your lock is installed. So after using them today, store them in a safe and easy to remember location. The same codes can also be found on the back of the inside assembly, but you'll need to remove the lock to get to them. You may also want to follow along using the quick start guide provided with the deadbolt. Keep in mind that if you want to get the most out of your lock, we recommend pairing it with the Z-Wave or Zigbee Smart Home Security System. In fact, you may have noticed there are two versions of the Schlage Connect Smart Deadbolt, Z-Wave or Zigbee Certified. If you aren't familiar with Z-Wave or Zigbee, don't worry. Those are just names for the type of technology the lock works with. Exact features depend on the system you have, but most systems come with a mobile or web app that makes it easy to control your lock from anywhere and change other settings. In many cases, the mobile app will eliminate the need to do manual programming on the touchscreen at all, allowing you to control your lock with your smartphone. And thanks to one button enrollment, pairing the lock with your smart home or security system is as simple as pushing a single button. Refer to your system manufacturer's instructions for pairing devices to learn more. Now that you know a little more about smart home pairing options, you're ready to get to the installation. You'll be installing the bolt first. Remember the back set measurements you took earlier to determine the proper bolt length? If your door has a back set of 2 and 3 eighths inches, no adjustment is necessary. If your door's back set is 2 and 3 quarter inches, the bolt can easily be adjusted to fit by simply twisting the faceplate, as shown here. The bolt comes with a pre-attached rectangular faceplate with rounded corners, but you can change to an optional drive-in faceplate if your door calls for it. If you're using the rectangular faceplate, simply slide the bolt into place with the word top on the bolt facing upward and secure it with the two shorter screws provided. If your door requires the round drive-in faceplate, pop the rectangular faceplate off with a flathead screwdriver. Twist to remove the support plate underneath 
and then snap the round faceplate onto the bolt. With the bolt retracted, tap the bolt into place flush with the edge of the door using a block of wood to protect the bolt. Now, install the strike into the door frame. Install the reinforcement plate first, making sure the plate is oriented to the door correctly as indicated on the plate. Secure the plate with the long reinforcement screws. Installing the reinforcement plate will add additional security by strengthening the door frame, but may require some additional work to the door jamb. Do not try to use the reinforcement plate and the long reinforcement screws if your door has a side light or a window on the other side of the door frame. Install the strike plate over the reinforcement plate using the two shorter screws. Before we move on, let's check to make sure the bolt and strike are properly aligned. From the inside, close the door and test by inserting the flathead screwdriver into the slot in the bolt. Rotate the screwdriver to extend the bolt. The bolt should smoothly and fully extend into the strike. If not, you'll need to adjust your strike or jam until the bolt moves freely. Next, install the touchscreen assembly on the outside of the door. Make sure the bolt is retracted and flush with the edge of the door before you begin. Feed the cable under the bolt, aligning the tailpiece with the slot in the bolt and snap the assembly in place. Snap and stay clips will help hold the touchscreen in place, leaving your hands free. If the opening in your door is smaller than the snap and stay feature, it can easily be removed with just one screw. Now, position the support plate on the inside of the door as indicated by the written markings top and against door. Route the cable through the slot at the bottom and secure the plate with the two large screws provided. Before fully tightening the screws, check to ensure the touchscreen and support plate are straight. Then connect the cable to the inside assembly, matching the white dot on the connector with the white dot on the circuit board. Route the cable into the channel provided to keep it from getting pinched or crimped. Align the tailpiece with the slot on the back of the inside assembly and slide the assembly toward the door and onto the support plate. Secure the inside assembly onto the support plate, inserting the lower and longer screw first. Then the short screw at the top. Do not attempt to turn the thumb turn at this point. Now, unsnap the connector and remove the battery tray. Insert the batteries, ensuring proper polarity. Then carefully replace the battery tray with the batteries facing the door. Reattach the battery connector and replace the battery cover. Your installation is almost complete. Now you just need to set up and test the lock. To set up the lock, open the door and enter one of the default four-digit access codes provided on the back of your quick start guide. The lock will perform a setup routine. Wait until the bolt stops moving before continuing. Now that the setup's complete, let's test your installation. First, let's check to see if the thumb turn and bolt are moving freely. Make sure the bolt is retracted Close the door and rotate the thumb turn to lock and unlock the door several times. The bolt should extend and retract smoothly. If the deadbolt drags, adjust the strike or door jam for better alignment. Alignment of the bolt and strike are critical for the correct operation of your Schlage Connect deadbolt. Next, test the touchscreen from the outside. With the bolt retracted, close the door. Be careful not to lock yourself out though. Make sure to take the key with you while testing the lock from the outside. Now, press the Schleg button. The keypad light should come on and the bolt should extend and lock the door. If the light didn't come on, that may indicate a loose battery connection or a dead battery. You'll need to check the cable or possibly replace the batteries before you continue. Now, with the door locked, press the Schleg button. The back light will come on, but the bolt shouldn't retract. If you hear the bolt retract, there's an installation error. Next, enter one of the four digit default access codes. The bolt should retract and unlock the door. If any of the tests failed, contact Schlage for advice at 888-805-9837. That's it, your installation is complete. Now it's time to enjoy the benefits of going keyless. To learn more about integrating your lock into your smart home or security system, how to program additional functions, or how to learn more about the many features of your Schlage Connect Smart Deadbolt, consult your Quick Start Guide, visit us on YouTube, or at schlage.com. Thanks for watching, and thanks for choosing Schlage.